to my starting point. And this is, this is really quite important right here. If your line counter reads less than 100 feet, you know you're going to have to take some line off of the spool. Hey everybody, Al Norker here for Cast King. Spring is here and I'm getting my gear ready to go fishing. Now, this time of year I'm doing a lot of trolling, whether it be for walleye, uh, maybe salmon steelhead, uh, even trout. And when you're trolling, you know the value of a good line counter reel. But I want to talk to you today about how to make sure this line counter reel is set up correctly so that you know exactly how much line you have out. Now, depth control is really, really important, and the line counter can really help you with that as long as it's properly calibrated. Now, there's a lot of good line counter reels out there, but none of them will accurately measure the amount of line from your rod tip to your bait if you don't calibrate it first. Now, when I talk about calibration, I'm not talking about getting tools out and taking the reel apart and doing something mechanically to calibrate the reel. What I'm talking about is making sure we have the proper amount of line on the reel so that the line counter works correctly. Now, right out of the factory, uh, all line counters are set for a certain diameter of fishing line. You might be using braid, you might be using mono, maybe even lead core. They all have different diameters. If you don't have a similar diameter on every reel, and if you don't have the same amount of line on every reel, the line counter is just not going to work correctly. They're all going to read slightly different. So what we want to do at the start of the season is we want to fill our spool. I've got brand new line here. This is a Cast King monofilament line. And I am filled that spool all the way up to the top. And as you can see here, I haven't cut the line off yet. That's really, really important because during the calibration process, we might have to put on a little bit more line or take a little bit of line off to make sure the reel is reading the correct distance. So that's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to calibrate all of our lines to make sure that they are perfect for the line that we're using and we're going to have the right amount of line on each reel. So let's go over here. I'm going to show you how I've done that. It's really quite an easy process. To start the calibration process, there is a few tools that we're going to need. They're quite simple, and I'm going to show you those right now. First, I need a long tape measure, one that's going to measure at least 100 feet. In this case, I'm using a construction tape. Uh, it's easy to roll out, but we need something that's at least 100 feet long because we're going to use that as our base point for our calibration process. Next, we're going to need a stake in the ground, something to hold that tape into place as we measure out 100 feet. Attached to that stake, I'm going to use a clip. In this case, it's a little downrigger clip that will hold my line so I have a clear starting point exactly at zero on the tape measure before I start pulling line out of that reel to measure the distance. The first step is to attach the stake to the ground holding that tape measure firmly in place. Once the tape is attached, now I'm going to roll out that tape measure all the way to 100 feet in as straight a line as possible so I can read accurately the exact amount of line that's coming off of the spool out to that 100 foot mark. Now I'm simply going to attach my fishing line to this clip so that the line stays still measured exactly at the starting point zero inches on my tape measure. Once my line is attached to the clip then I'm going to let out just a little bit of line that kind of is my starting point. So when my rod is hanging over the side of the boat, I have always have a little bit of line before I actually start the drop down to my proper depth. So I want to start measuring in that same way right here. The next step is I'm going to zero my line counter. Make sure it's exactly at zero as it is right now. I'm going to free spool that. And I'm simply going to walk back until that line until that same point away from the rod tip, which is about 12 or 15 inches, is exactly on the 100 foot mark on the tape measure. And there's 100 feet right there in exactly the same spot. And I look down now and I read my line counter and it says 93 feet. So it's not truly 100 feet because it's not calibrated correctly yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reel back up to my starting point. 
And this is, this is really quite important right here. If your line counter reads less than 100 feet, you know you're going to have to take some line off of the spool. If it was reading over 100 feet, I'm going to have to add some line back onto the spool to get it properly calibrated. This is why we don't uh, cut our line before we finish the calibration process. So now I've taken some line off of the spool. It's a little bit of a trial and error process that you might have to go back and forth a little bit. We're going to try this one more time. Now that I've taken the line off, I'm going to zero my line counter again, open the spool, and I'm going to walk back to 100 feet and see what the reading says this time. If I've taken too much off, I may have to add a little bit more back on. And again, this is why we haven't cut that line so that we have plenty of line uh, to go back on and keep the process going till we get it accurately. So now I'm right at 100 feet again, right to that stopping point. This time, my spool says 95 feet. It was 93 before, so I still haven't taken off enough line. So we're going to go back and we're going to do that process one more time. Okay, so we've taken more line off the spool. We're ready to give it another try. Again, this is a little bit of a trial and error process. First step, now that we've done that, we're going to zero our line counter reel, and we're just going to go ahead and walk back to that 100 foot mark and make sure that what we've done hits exactly 100 feet now so that we know that this line is perfectly calibrated and we can hit the proper depth confidently every time we go out. So I'm right at the 100 feet mark now, right there. I look down at my reel. It's exactly 100 feet, so we've done it just right. Now all I have to do is reel that line back on. I'm going to walk right back up to that clip, and that's exactly where I'm going to cut my line. And I know this reel is perfectly calibrated. And we're going to treat all of our rods the same way. Every different line we use, every time we put line on, I'm going to bring it right to that point, right to that clip. We know that it's at zero right there. Cut the line, and we're perfectly calibrated. So I think you can see it's a pretty simple process. You just have to go through the right steps. If you do this every time, you're going to get the most out of your recon line counter reel and make sure you're always exactly where the fish are and you're going to have more luck on the water. I'm Al Norker for Casking, and I really appreciate you watching. Hope to see you on the water really soon.